next thing we need to understand is uh, when uh, the different adjacency behaviors of our routers like here if you take an example i got a router which is level one and level one both are in the same areas so they will automatically form the neighborship there won't be any problem with them communicating okay so this is very important to understand especially when you are troubleshooting because if you misconfigure these levels in that case it is going to affect your neighborship and also it will affect your exchange of the routes so whenever you are uh, when you are your troubleshooting iss the first thing you need to make sure that the routers are configured with appropriate levels so that they can exchange the routes so this is this is going to work because both the routers are in the same area and both are level ones and if you take this example both the routers are in level 2 level 2 in the same area also works because level 2 is similar to your backbone area just like area 0 and when you are designing within the area level 2 level 2 form the neighborship level 1 level 1 also form the neighborship but in case if you configure one router as level 1 and the other router as level 2 here like in this scenario you can see one router is configured as level 1 and the other router as level 2 in this scenario they will not form the neighborship why because there is a mismatch of levels here. so this is not going to work and whenever you see this type of scenario where both the routers are in the same area but they are not but they are not forming the neighborship definitely it is a mismatch of levels here so we'll see in the in detail in the next slides how we need to identify whether they are in the same area or different area so first let us figure out which which particular configurations or which levels what are the different types of levels matches and what levels do not match here like if you are going to configure level 2 and level 1 level 2 this is going to work because they are in the same area okay same area level 2 works because here we are using level 1 level 2 which means it is supporting level 1 as well as level 2 so they both exchange the routes based on level 2 informations the next thing if i come down to the next diagram here if both the routers one router is level 1 and the other router is level 1 level 2 still they form the neighborship because based on level 1 information so level 1 level 2 is is a type which is going to support all the different levels like it supports all the different levels it will communicate with level 1 as well as it is going to communicate with level 2 also and also it will communicate with level 1 level 2 routers so it is going to communicate with every type of level router in general in iss next thing uh, this scenario also works like if you have a level 1 level 2 level 1 level 2 which is by default still they will form the neighborship so in this except this scenario all the all the remaining options are going to work and they will form the neighborship so the next thing we have some other combinations here like here also i got some few combinations like you can see i got one router in level 1 and other router is in level 1 but they are in different areas in that case they will not form the neighborship because in order to exchange the routes between the two different areas the router must be either level 2 level 2 or it must be level 2 level 1 so l1 in this scenario is not going to work in case if you configure something like this so similar way if, if both the routers are in different area here and here in this case this is going to work because both the routers are in different areas and to exchange the routes between different areas it must be either level 2 or level 1 level 2 so this is going to work this is not going to work here in similar way here also if your router is in level 1 and level 2 means level 1 is not going to exchange the routes with different areas it will not work similar way this is also not going to work actually here this will not work because level 1 will only exchange the routes with the routers within the same area so it's not going to work here as well and similar way level 1 will not work for different areas simple thing level 1 will not work for exchange of the routes in different areas and level 2 will not work for the exchange of the routes in the same areas so similar way here this is going to work here so these are some of the combinations of different levels uh, based on that we need to understand so that we can easily design the iss networks here so now let us see some sample diagram here which is going to give some more better idea on uh, what levels should be present now here i got some simple diagram sample diagram which routers must be level 1 and level 2 like here you can see this border router which is actually communicating with internal routers here also it is communicating with external routers so now this router must be configured as level 1 level 2 suppose in case if you change this router 
So we can even change the levels. If I change this router to level two, in case if I change it to level two instead of level one, level two, in that case, it will be able to exchange the routes with these two border other area routers, but it will affect the exchange of the routes with the internal routers. So in this scenario, this router must be configured as level one, level two. It must be level one, level two. And if you take this router, again, it must be level one, level two, because it is exchanging the routes with internal router as well as external routers. Similar way, if you if you take the example of this router also, it is communicating with internal router, external routers, which is level two, and also it is exchanging the routes from level one. So it must be level one, level two. Now these three specific routers, which I mentioned here, this router, these three routers must be configured as level one, level two. If you change them to level one in case, they will not exchange the routes with other other routers which are in different areas. And if you change them to level two, also it is not going to work because it will affect the communication exchange of the routes or the neighborship between the routers inside the areas. So it must be configured as level one, level two, that is mandatory. So similar way, if I take one more example here, this router, you can see this area three router. So this router, can be level two or it can be configured as level one, level two. Why? Because this router is only exchanging the routes with the other routers which are in different area. So there is no internal router connecting to this router. So in this type of scenario, you can use this router as level two or it can be level one, level two. It's up to you. But in this type of scenarios, it's recommended to use just level two because uh, we'll minimize the size of the database uh, by just by just maintaining this router just maintains only level two database. But the other routers, which I discussed this three routers must be level one, level two. And similar way, if I conf if I try to see this some specific router like this router here, now I can configure this router as level one. Why? Because it is only exchanging the routes or communicating with the other routers which are in the same area. So now we can change this to level one. But I cannot change this to level one because if I change this to level one, it will affect my communication with the other routers in a different area. Okay, so now you need to figure out which routers works with level one, which routers works with level two, and which routers we should use level one, level two. Now, if I take this router, now I can change this router to level one. It is going to work because it is exchanging the routes only with the routers within the same area. So. So it can be level one, level two, or it can I can even change to level one also. It is going to work. So depending upon the scenario, so this simple designs, this this diagram is going to give you some uh, more clear idea on understanding the different levels, when we should use level one, when we should use level two, and when we should use level one, level two. And we can even change the levels. We'll see that when we come to the labs, okay? Now, uh, I'll try to take one more scenario here. One more design you can see here. This is one more design which is slightly different when compared with the previous one. Now this scenario, this scenario is also valid scenario. Like like in general in OSPF we have some area zero. Like we have area zero router which is communicating with area one, area two, area three, area four. So whenever you want to connect area one to area two, you have to go via area zero. So this is the default design in OSPF. Similar way we can also do the similar thing in ISS also. But in ISS, we don't have any specific area zero. So we should we need to maintain a contiguous routers with area zero. So if you if you're maintaining all the routers with level two, in this case, in this scenario, it's going to work here because level two routers are going to are generally considered as your backbone routers or backbone area, we can say similar to area zero. Now, whenever you want to exchange the routes between different areas, then we need to configure the contiguous this middle area the transit must be configured as level two area so when you do that it will allow to exchange the routes between the different areas because level two uh, will allow the allow it to happen like you can connect any non-backbone areas to any other areas via this backbone area so l2 l2 will be considered as your backbone area typically we call it as a uh, level two so similar way, like we have area zero, which will be considered as your backbone area. So here level two will be considered as the backbone here. Whereas all the level one areas will be typically considered as your non backbone areas or a normal areas we can say. Similar to OSPF, this is a slight change in the terminology when we compare with OSPF.